this is hard thing calculation with the help of excel spreadsheet this is the manual calculation previously uh, i have shown with the help of etap software how to calculate the ground grid design if you if you have missed this video you can uh, check from the playlist and today i will uh, discuss about uh, the manual calculation how to calculate the ground grid design as per ieee 80 uh, for a typical substation suppose this is a powerhouse uh, max uh, this is the grid length 350 meter by uh, y axis direction 800 meter so for 350 meter by 800 meter and um, depth depth of body is 0.6 meter grid spacing grid spacing is 40 meter so for this power wash i will show an practical example how to calculate how to design the underground grid with the help of uh, manual calculation using spreadsheet as per IEEE 80 standard so if you see IEEE 80 it talks about the touch and step potential and based on that tolerable touch limit tolerable touch voltage and step voltages step by step procedure is mentioned so here in this uh, video or maybe another uh, couple of videos i will cover i will try to cover uh, the whole thing as per i triple eighty the ground grid design so first of all what we have to do um, we, we need to check the uh, input parameters so these are the these are the these are the input parameters Sorry. these are the input parameters what is the short circuit what is the short circuit level suppose uh, this is 50 kilo ampere and and the fault duration for one second so 50 kilo ampere for one second it is uh, already mentioned as per the project specification shock duration you need to define this shock duration uh, this is uh, 0 0.5 second this is ts so we know i short circuit current tc for fault duration in shock duration next is coming grid current is ig so grid current you need to calculate the grid current how to calculate the grid current i will cover in a separate video if you want so um, uh, drop your comment in the comment box i will show you how to calculate the uh, grid current yeah uh, like this uh, this is a practical example uh, from a uh, from an existing project we have done so with the help of positive negative sequence network this um, sequence network how to uh, calculate this grid current i will cover it a separate video if you want let's go back to this calculation okay next current diversity factor this is 0 0.5 this shock duration and shock duration and current diversity factor you can uh, get these values we have taken from cvip okay so these are the input parameters and next is coming the field data field data uh, field data means the nature of soil type of soil what will be the uh, soil resistivity in ohm meter so we need to measure you need to collect that information from site 
so soil resistivity measurement is required for this so this is rho value of rho soil resistivity uh, so we have got this data from uh, from an agency who has carried out the soil resistivity test at field so the soil resistivity in ohm meter this is 25.06 next is coming surface layer resistivity of concrete row s in ohm meter so this is also um, uh, you can see from the uh, video i have already shown in the uh, ground grid design using etap software there are different values you can get uh, in the etap software by default there are some values so what will be the surface layer resistivity of concrete here it is considered 1000 this is also as per IEEE 80 next uh, ambient temperature this is also a factor 50 degrees centigrade and thickness of concrete surface thickness of concrete uh, top concrete surface this is 0.15 meter so there are different soil levels and this is the topmost concrete surface layer and below that another two layers we need to consider so if you see the uh, video uh, where i have discussed using etap software how to calculate the ground grid design you can you can see there next is coming uh, the conductor data here we have used the material as mild steel ms conductor uh, ms rod basically and and uh, these are the conductor parameters what is the specific weight specific heat thermal capacity factor thermal coefficient for resistivity alpha zero so resistivity at different temperature maximum al maximum allowable temperature and also the reference temperature for material construction so all these mit uh, all these conductor uh, data we need uh, for this calculation you can get it uh, um, based on the uh, material type of material so this is as per the uh, mild steel conductor data and now uh, the thing is coming for the preliminary conductor sizing so this is the conductor sizing formula and this formula this formula you can get uh, from the i triple here here you can see this is the i triple e i triple standard this is the formula so, so conductor sizing factors this is i triple e so as per this calculation as, as per this equation uh, we have calculated here Mm, so i equals to a into this so we have put the values here and cross section a is coming 608 square mm so conductor data we can get conductor data and one factor is the corrosion factor this is 30 percent this is as per the cbib values this is 30 percent we have considered and so this is the conductor dia as per calculation and we have considered 40 mm dia ms rod 40 mm dia this is the preliminary so um, we have considered this 40 mm um, dia ms rod uh, as per preliminary design and the cross section of conductor is coming now as 790 square mm so this is the preliminary design and now the preliminary design should be adjusted at site so that the total length of the body conductor is at least equals to uh, this L equals to this 5.5.477 this is also uh, as per IEEE I can show you the formula here as per as per IEEE
okay so um, thus uh, in this way we can uh, design the preliminary ground grid uh, design uh, as per the IEEE standard and in the next sessions I will cover um, how to check the stop, uh, step and touch potentials step and touch potentials and uh, grid etc you can see these are the as per IEEE standard step and touch potential mesh voltage so these things I will cover in the next session